I know I'm going to sound like that guy who says, get off my lawn here, but I did write a column about civility this past week, and I think it's important. People watching us right now, people listening to us right now, if they look around their communities, I suspect they'll agree with me that they are seeing less civility than they can remember in decades and decades. I'm talking about going onto a subway and seeing a group of young people all talking at the top of their lungs and hurling F-bombs all over the place. I was taught when you're a kid, you don't do that, but apparently they're not being taught that today. You hold a door for somebody. They walk right through, they don't say thank you. I'm talking about when you're driving your car on the streets, which I know you don't do because you don't have a car, but some of the rest of us do, and you let somebody cut in and they don't give you a wave. Yeah. These are the little bits of civility which I think add to the niceness and the grace of a society. And we're losing all of these common courtesies. Now, the piece de resistance of this story focuses on a guy you and I both know, because he used to work here, a producer named Vodek Schemberg, who is 73 years old. And Vodek, how do I put it? Vodek can be a cantankerous <laughs> guy when he sees things that he really doesn't like. And what he didn't like was being on St. Clair streetcar a couple of months ago, and seeing two guys talking at the top of their lungs and dropping F-bombs, and they were drunk, and he was really not happy about that at all. And so, because they were, as we've discussed, misbehaving in a public space, he sort of went over to them and he said, shut the front door. <laughs> Except he didn't say front door. Yeah. It was more like shut the F up. And he probably shouldn't have said that, but... Uh, you know, Vodek is 73, and he's been seeing a lot of this incivility in public places, and he just had enough. Wouldn't you know it, they all end up getting off at the same spot. They continue the discussion, and before you knew it, Vodek is on the ground, having been punched in the face, and he has two black eyes to show for his intervention. I guess I'd conclude by saying we didn't get here overnight, right? This was bit by bit by bit by bit. We've sort of lost little bits of civility in our public spaces and in our life, and it will take us a little while to get out of this mess as well. And I think if each of us just tries to perform one little civil gesture every day, it would make our world a little more harmonious. And politicians, I, I urge you to do the same. People might be asking, you know, this is a politics podcast, why is Steve going on about manners? And, and I would say, you know, we used to have this idea that politics wasn't just about the exercise of power. It wasn't just about policy making. The object of good government was to cultivate virtue. And mm -hmm. that is a line of thought that you can go all the way back to Plato and the Republic, uh, if you want to read about. Um, it was also present uh, in the Enlightenment. And even when, you know, some of uh, Canada's uh, uh, founders were, were trying to craft, uh, you know, government here. Um, here at TVO, uh, we actually uh, do believe that it is possible to make people better democratic citizens through the power of education. That is part of our, our mission. That's our uh, mission I statement. I, I would mm. like to think that you and I play our part in that. Um, as you say, not something we can fix overnight. Um, I think for starters, though, I would ask people not to assault septuagenarians. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a good start. Don't assault anybody in general, but no. like septuagenarians in particular. <laughs> <laughs> right on. Right on.